and a shoddy. Wow, a shoddy as well. At the moment, I'm shooting this with uh, the Rode NTG-1 um, shotgun mic, so I can compare it. In fact, I'll do that right now. I'll plug this in. Oh, okay, it's one AA powered. It's not a Phantom jobby. So I've got to, uh, and it's got a TRS jack on it. So this is a test right now with the Rode NTG-1 microphone. And this audio you're listening to now is the Audio-Technica ATR6550X. Um, I had to get an XLR uh, adapter because it's not uh, XLR 48 volt uh, Phantom uh, powered as my other mics are. But um, yeah, I just switch off uh, the Phantom power, have the uh, three three and a half millimeter TRS jack to XLR input, and that's what you're listening to now, as opposed to what you're listening to before, was the Rode NTG-1 um, shotgun mic. So this is shoddy as well. So it does have a wide field and uh, far field. It's currently set to far field, which is the shotgun mode. So thank you very much, Tony, for this awesome um, swag that I've got. Uh, Technical Audio Group down below. They're the Australian reps for Audio Technica and um, other gear. So I'll link them in down below. Uh, check them out. Maybe we can do like a tear down of the shoddy, if that's easy to tear down. Why not? Well, that was hard to do. Not. I <laughs> just took out a couple of screws and it all just uh, slid off. No worries. Look at this. Oh, man. This <laughs> brings back some memories. This is like, you know, 1980s single-sided board uh, jobby. Look, we've got uh, discrete trannies in here. Look at this. And they're not even in the big, thick, um, regular TO92 package there. Isn't that nice? Oh, I'm liking that. Anyway... <laughs> There you go. So that's our um, that's our on off uh, switch. The only issue with this is I don't think this has like an auto power off on. Um, so if you leave it like on, then um, yeah, you're just going to drain your battery. But uh, it's got uh, you know wide field and um, narrow as well. And of course, to do that, you've got the multiple mics in here. And for those who don't like, I won't. Uh, pretend to know I'd have to get uh, my mate Doug Ford and I have to link in if you haven't seen it the five part whiteboard microphone design series uh, with Doug Ford um, former head designer at uh, Road Mics here in Australia he's a good mate of mine and uh, yeah we sat down on the whiteboard for like I think it's five videos worth or something like that so if you want to know the ins and outs of microphone design oh, that's you know probably one of these best resources in the uh, world that uh, microphone design series fantastic but there you go three discrete trannies and that's it i don't think there's any i don't think there's any surface mount stuff on the bottom i wouldn't even bother taking that out further but there's our capsules i don't think they're anything special and i did actually listen uh to the audio and this did it it sounded very different to my uh rode mic design actually i've never uh, torn apart my rode ntg1 before i don't think so so anyway there it is made in australia thank you very much um so yes i do have to i do have an invite to the rode factory and um yeah was going to do that take it up but uh, no i think i have torn this down but there you go it's another discrete design there but yeah a lot more uh, stages this one doesn't have this one just has a uh, low pass um uh, sorry a low cut um filter on it um with you know for handling uh, noise and uh, stuff like that it doesn't have the near and far thing but uh yeah this one's a bit more involved than the audio technical one but basically how the um shotgun microphone um effect works is just the physical acoustic design of uh, these so you know I don't know which ones you know the, the longer you know longer the uh, more better I believe um, yeah but it's the physical construction of these it is what uh, channels the um, sound it actually rejects sound coming uh, from the side and uh, it allows sound to travel straight through the front and through so that's why you get a uh, you know you get a certain lobe uh, pattern with it um, that's pointed uh, forward but yeah it tends to reject uh, sounds from the back and the uh, sides and that's all part of the physical dimensions and physical properties of the tube length the tube diameter and uh, these slits and everything else so this one here there's nothing fancy in that that's just a uh, screen there I don't know if the screen actually does much I don't know I'd have to ask Dougie but uh, yeah the microphone capsule is right down in there the road's going to have a better capsule which uh, why it sounds uh, better than the smaller inserts that are inside the audio Technica here, but I'm sure there is a cost uh, difference as well because this is not a cheap uh, mic from Rode. It's one of their uh, top oh, performance 
mics and oh is that going to go back to yep but yeah i just checked the uh price here and the audio technica here is uh 99 aussie bucks and the rode ntg one here is two and a half times the price at about 250 odd bucks so um yeah there's a significant difference you're paying for um you know probably extra uh performance in the uh, front end here plus um you know the better designed uh capsule there so yep can we get a part number on that sucker, the one that's closest there? Jeez, it's hard. Second stage. Ah, oh, don't know. So there you go. That's just an interesting uh, little comparison and teardown of uh, two kind of like different price bracket uh, shotgun mics on the market. Hello.